on 13 news. A Poplar Grove woman is doing what doctors said she never could. A traumatic brain injury nearly cost her her life eight years ago, and it left her with a disability they said she would never overcome. What doctors didn't know is that her determination was far more powerful than her limitations. Come on. Chloe Brunke has come a long way. I mean, she's just something. She's something special. Her walk is a bit wobbly, and she talks slowly. I'm a really big talker, so I need to talk. But the fact that she can do either is nothing short of a miracle. I remember thinking it was all a dream. Chloe can't remember what happened back in December 2011. Her mother, though. I remember everything. She remembers getting the call that her daughter was T-boned by a pickup truck on this road just a mile from her home. She remembers rushing to OSF, and she remembers the grim prognosis from doctors. And she pulled me in the side room and she said, I was with your daughter, and I was like, okay, and she says, it doesn't look good. There was no blood, no broken bones. The damage was somewhere no one could see it. We found out she had uh, DAI, which is diffused exonal injury. Um, it's kind of like shaken baby syndrome where the brain stem is affected. Doctors warned even if Chloe survived, she would never be the same. They said go check nursing homes. Um, you know, she'd probably be a vegetable. They said that I wouldn't be able to eat talk, breathe, or anything on my own ever again. And I'm doing all three and more, so what do they know? But Chloe wasn't content with just showing doctors she could eat, breathe, and walk on her own. She had so much more to prove. I always knew I was gonna graduate college. I mean, that wasn't really factor in my whole, hey, well, maybe I can't do this anymore. No, I'm gonna. And a few weeks ago, she did. Chloe earned her associate's degree from Rock Valley College. The girl doctors thought would need round-the-clock care didn't just break expectations. She shattered them. She does everything they said she wouldn't. So now what's to say that these doctors, you know, she gives hope. Hope is what she gets. <laughs> Her walk may always be a little wobbly. <laughs> and she may talk slowly. But if Chloe's family's learned anything in the last eight years, you can't put limits on a girl who sees no limitations. I'm always worried, like always worried. And she graduated from college, and I feel like maybe I don't need to worry anymore. Chloe's degree is meaningful in more ways than one. She is the first in her family to graduate college. And Chloe's still figuring out what she wants to do with that degree, but she will walk the stage for graduation next year. And you can be sure 13WREX will be there for that momentous occasion.